Hello and welcome back to On My Bookshelf. And in this episode, I'm going to be looking at Atlantic Cowboy by Andrea Yestvang. For many landscape photographers, a trip to the Faroe Islands will be somewhere on their bucket list. Most of us will see photographs of the amazing, unique and almost fantastical landscape that seems to cover every part of the Faroe Islands. I'm no different and I too dream of photographing those amazing landscapes. But this book isn't a collection of photographs featuring the Faroe Islands honeypot locations. This book is all about the lives of a group of Faroese men known as Atlantic Cowboys. And it was this theme that really sparked my interest in the book. I've seen plenty of landscape photographs of the Faroe Islands, but I knew nothing about its population of over 50,000 people and its rich history and culture. Atlantic Cowboy is Andrea's monograph of one of the largest groups of men on the Faroe Islands known as the Atlantic Cowboy. It's a term created by sociologist Fyrus Ganey to describe Faroese men who are predominantly associated with fishing, music, cars and the Christian faith. Andrea's photography journey to the Faroe Islands started when she learned about the unique and interesting demographics of the Faroe Islands. Over a period of six years, she returned to the Faroe Islands many times and the pictures she captured are now published in this book. The book is a fascinating look at the lives of a group of men on a remote collection of islands in the Atlantic. Andrea skillfully captured images of the men at work, at home, socialising and the landscape that surrounds them. While some of the photographs portray what looks like a hard and difficult life, there is joy to be had in the photog photographs in this book as well. The portraits are particularly compelling as you try to work out what this person's life is like and what they might be feeling at the time. These pictures are also offering insight into their homes or places of work and the wider exploration of the photograph is always recommended. Of particular interest is the essay in the book, which is written by local sociologist Fyrus Ganey. It's a fascinating look into the history of the Faroese men, the culture of the Atlantic cowboy, and what their lives are like. So is this a book for your bookshelf? Well, for me, buying this book was a bit of a pun. It's not the type of book that directly appeals to me, but at the same time, I like to push my photography boundaries and expose myself to other styles and genres of photography. I have an interest in the Faroe Islands, so when I found out about this book, I knew I would get a different view, a different perspective of the Faroe Islands. The photographs are skillfully crafted and then sequenced in the book. Each photo is a window into someone's working or personal life or the Faroese culture. This title is also the first book I've purchased from Ghost Books, who are an independent visual arts and photography publisher based in London. And I have to say, I really like the presentation of this book, from its hardcover to the reproductions of the photographs on the paper. It all seems to match the theme of the book and its content. I don't think this book is going to be for everyone, but if you have an interest in people and culture, documentary style photography, or want to know more about the folks that inhabit the Faroe Islands, then this book is well worth considering. And since the publisher sold out, you'll need to get hunting around to your local bookshops to see if they still have stock. But I do hope you have enjoyed this episode of On My Bookshelf. There are over 40 episodes of On My Bookshelf, and I'm popping up the On My Bookshelf playlist in the corner of the screen. Why not check out another episode? There's sure to be a book in there to inspire your photography. That's it for me, and I'll see you in the next one.